How are you doing, Kaguli? I'm fine. And um, how is your husband? Fine. Your heart speaks to me. But I should always learn to smile. I mean, you should also know that smile makes a lot of difference. I can't give what I don't have. How can I smile when my life is enveloped with pains, anguish, sadness? Mere mention of his name gives me adrenaline rush. I lack peace within. I see you. I see what you're going through, Kambili. And I also see your strength. Do not let anyone tear you down. Kambili, don't let anyone tear you down because in that eyes of yours is a fire that can burn through hearts. My strength has failed me. Yes. I've prayed for the doors of heaven to open, but it seems like the compassionate ears of the angels are permanently blocked against me. No. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't say that. Okay, don't. I wish you can see yourself through the eyes of others. Looking in your eyes, the reflection of me is a timid, hopeless, helpless girl whose fate is drawn to perpetual dilemma. That's all I can see. That is not what I see. I can't believe I... Listen, I... I see a strong woman who knows the extent of her strength, but refuse to respond to negativity because she has a heart of gold. Thank you. I pray for in peace. Oh. Alex, Matt, how are you doing? I'm um, getting something to drink. I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you? Yes, I'm fine. Good. Oh, I came as a suggested. What? Well rehearsed African woman sits in discussion with the husband's friend without the husband's consent. Huh? Huh? Did you trust me? Ah. Welcome. How did we go at the market? Fine. You're welcome back. I don't like the way your wife dresses. Don't you feel embarrassed? Embarrassed? Why? Hmm? Max, don't tell me you're maturating that girl. <laughs> because if you are, I'll be disappointed in you. Mariam, I am not maturating anybody, okay? That's just the way she likes dressing. It has nothing. Absolutely nothing to do with me. Drink that. Okay. Give me some money. I want to go shopping for her. Mm -hmm. Because even if she is a living maid, 
wearing that uniform to the market? Come on. As in, give you money for what? Because of her? Is she contesting in any pageantry or what? I'm sure dear. you're not talking to me, ma. Just let her be. She's enjoying herself, okay? Max, mm -hmm. you're not talking to me, are you? I just said, give me some money. I want to take her shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. How much are we talking about before you give me your ears? Fine. Just give me your ATM card. Come on, don't be stingy. You have the money. Just bring it. Oh, come on, Miriam. Do not make her feel like swimming money, okay? You know how those village girls behave. Hmm? Did, did you just say that? Village girl, for real? Oh, so slip of tongue. I take that back. Better. I don't know why you're behaving the way you are. And it's truly sad. <laughs> and trust me. I dodged a bullet when I refused your proposal. You know what, Maria? Mm. I was down, you know, and I needed you by my side. But you, you turned me down, you know? And talking about missing a bullet. You miss a good one. Good one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you? A mm -hmm. good one? What a laugh. <laughs> Come on, Max. <laughs> <laughs> well, the money. Mm. Of course, I said I was going to give it to you, all right? Come on. But I want the card right now. You're not even drinking. You're not sipped from your glass. Come on, let's go. Well, I'm not sipping because I don't know how cheap the wine is. Because you're stingy. Ah, <laughs> uh, the card. Yeah, I know you're joking. Anyway, I've done one of these before. Really? And you know it. I'll be right back. Mm. Can you use all this? Of course. What are friends for? Perfect choice. You look so good on you. Thank you. Ah, you don't have to thank me. Thank you so much. Come on. Come on. I didn't do anything. Your husband gave me the money for all of this. So you should thank him. He did? Why are you surprised? Are you both having problems? No. <laughs> ah, this color is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I am very well. Thank you. Come, Billy. Come, give me your hand. You know you can talk to me, right? About anything. I mean, anything. Are you sure you're fine? Yes, thank you. Thank you, the clothes are beautiful. You know what? If I leave this place, I'll make sure I give you a little makeover. I'm gonna make you a doll. And trust me, when Max sees you, he will be blown. He'll be so surprised. I promise. Are you sure he will like it? Ah, come on, he's my friend. I've known him over the years. So trust me. Come on. Bring it in. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. Yes. Every day I am sub. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Oh, why me? I must say. You look good. 
Thank you. But I would not have my wife dressed like a street prostitute in my house. Miriam said she would love it. Yeah, she's right. I love it. But not on you. You see, classy looks are not for village girls like you. I would not have you dressed like this in my house. Because sooner or later, you go wide and start following other men. You get my point now. So go and take it off. Hey. Come back here. Talking about you looking good. The way you're dressed makes me really, really horny. Tears never dry from my eye, they never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another Every day I am sob Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery Why me? Oh, why me? Tears never dry from my eyes. Me, no. Smile never come my way. No. Why me? Oh. Why me? Come, Billy! Sir! Come here! Jesus! Oh. Did I ask you to wash this car? I, 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 I was. Did I? I'm sorry. Are you mad? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just was so I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i am What's, What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? How dare you push me in my own house? As for goodness sake, this is your wife. She's your wife for goodness sake. And what is your concern? How dare you walk into my house with your filthy legs to tell me how to treat my wife? How? Now you listen to me. Before the count of five, turn around and get out of my house. Don't, now! Please don't go, he will kill me. He will kill me, please. He will kill me. Will... Alice, get out of my house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rubbish. Look at this lunatic. Huh? Huh? You're playing the good guy, right? Yeah, Mr. Nice Guy. Come in and teach me how to treat my wife. Oh, shit. How do I go to work right now? Kimberly, come and wash his clothes. Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? 
From one pain to another Every day I am sober Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery Christ! He's not around though. Max is not around. I know. I... I came to see you. What? He did this to you? Yes. I'm so sorry. Okay? I am so sorry. I mean, I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Please. Um, he's not around. You know, after that, after what happened here yesterday, please stop, please. I, I couldn't sleep. I, mean, I had to come and check up on you. Please. It hurts. It is. It hurts. I'm so sorry. Okay, I, I, I'm so sorry. You know what? Let, let me quickly get you some painkillers. Please don't. No, no, no. Let, if let he me... comes back and sees it to be a problem, he will start beating me again. Please, don't bother. I can't believe. I'm already used to the pain. No. No. You, you can't be used to abuse. Okay? I mean, I, I am sorry you're the one in this situation. I am so sorry. It, it breaks my heart each time I come and see sadness all over your face. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Thank you. You know, you know what, let, let me quickly get you the drugs before he comes back, okay? Please don't say no, okay? Please, please. Come on. Tears never dry from my face. Smile never gone my face. I can't leave either. My aunt practically sold me to him. Even if I decide to leave, I have nowhere to go. What? Kambly, I can help you. No. Max's family is very influential. I wouldn't want you to be in their back book. Please. I have to be here till he gets his inheritance. That was the agreement. And then what? Then I can leave. <sighs> Listen, can't believe. I understand no one wants to get into the Oswald's bad book. Okay, I understand that is your fear. I do. But I am ready to fight this for you. Alex, thank you. You're such a kind man. You've done more than enough for me. I wouldn't want you to put yourself in trouble. You, you give me hope when I'm hopeless. That's already enough. You should consider your security too. I wouldn't want you to enter into problem because of me. Don't worry about me. By special grace of God, I'll be fine. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll be fine. You're a beautiful soul, Kambali. I just hope he sees that someday. 
Look, I will do everything within my powers to make sure you get the security you deserve. Trust me. Thank you. Why don't you take um, take more water? Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me now? Tears never dry for my face. Why me now? Smile never come my face. Why me now? Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me now? Tears never dry for my face. Oh, my. What happened to you? I fell. Oh. You fell. From a plane? A skyscraper? A tower? Perhaps the Pyramid of Giza? Oh. <laughs> Tell me, Kambigi, what exactly happened to you? <laughs> Did he do this to you? Did Max do this to you? <laughs> I, I am so sorry. <gasps> I am sorry. Oh, please, please calm down. Calm down, calm down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what? Let's sit. Whatever gave Max the effrontery to do this to you is totally unacceptable. No, it's unheard of. I thought you would love me. I hoped my life would get better after marriage. Unfortunately, it got worse. Worse. You've been through so much. God. I can't even imagine how you held on for so long. I cannot even believe your aunt sold you to them. And he reminds me of it every minute. I guess happy ever after is a mirage. Because nothing about my life exudes happiness. It's been from pain to agony to anguish to... Mm -hmm. No, don't say that. There's always happy ever after. Trust me on that. And I will make sure Max gets its act together. Please, please, please don't talk to him about all of this. I wouldn't even want him to know that I spoke to you about my experience here. Please, Come he me. will beat me. Calm down. Please. I know how to handle him. He's my friend after all. You just don't worry. Your story brought me close to tears. I never would have imagined it. I can't, I don't, I don't even know how to picture it. I don't, I can't believe my friend has become a beast. I cannot even believe that Max will raise his hand on a woman, more so his own wife? This is insane. I wish, I wish I never married him. I just wish. I know, I know. I can't even look into his eyes. 
It seems like I am married to my slave master. <laughs> He's lucky you knew. He's lucky to have you. Because if he had tried this nonsense with me, I would definitely break his head. I lost the strength to fight. I lost the strength to argue. I just wish I would just sleep and never wake up. Don't even say that. No. No. That's the last thing that should come to your mind. Listen, I'll talk to Max. And I promise everything will be fine. Okay? No, just calm down. Calm down. No, 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 you don't have to be. You're a strong woman. No, come on. It's okay. He's treating me this way. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just I'll talk to him. No, stop crying, okay? Don't cry. Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Tears never dry for my eyes. Why me? So you're this mean and wicked. How can you raise your hand and hit your wife? An innocent woman. How can you? What would you like to She fell. Oh, from the pyramid of Giza, I guess. Right? No, tell me, Max. No, tell me. What is wrong with you, Max? You stand here and you're lying to my face that she fell. Or, or you told her to tell people she fell. I didn't lie to you, okay? I said so because that is the truth. Who is this person standing in front of me? What did she ever do to you? Why would you meet out such level of cruelty to her? Why are you, why, why, why you treating her this way? What makes you think she did nothing? Do you live here with us? Ouch! What do you do that for? That's exactly the way she's feeling right now. It's painful, right? Of course it is. Oh, really? But not as much as what you've done to her. Max! You, honestly, you disgust me. This person standing in front of me is not my friend. If you could treat your wife that way, that means I'm not even safe with you as a friend. Oh, I wasn't going to treat you that way. Don't patronize me, Max. Don't even do that with me. You better start to get your act together. You better start to treat her right. And if you don't, consider this friendship over. You're okay. Every day I am sober. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Cavalry! Why me? Oh, why me? What you tell her? Come here! Come on! What do you say, Maria? I'm asking for the last time. What do you tell about me? Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another Every day I am sob Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery Why me? Where do you think you're going? Wherever the breeze blows me to, that's where I'm going. Yes, you don't even think of stopping. And if I try to stop, you will again. You will see what I will do. Damn me. Monster. Shut my door, please. You can go to anywhere you want to go to. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Good riddance to bad rubbish. Far away from this slavery, far away from this misery. Tears never dry from my eyes. Yeah, cheers. Never leave my to professional mind. bachelorhood. What kind yeah. of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? Uh -huh. From where to where? Please help me, he wants to kill me. Who is going to kill you? 
Auntie Max wants to kill me. He's been very mean to me. He calls me a manner of name. He told me he's my lord and he has the right to treat me anyhow. Mom, oh, enough. See, marriage is for better for us. No leave, no transfer. When you were in my house, you thought I was maltreating you, right? So you better go back to face your shaggy promise. Auntie, please, I am sorry. Please, don't allow him to kill me. He is not going to kill you. Besides, I'm spending the money they paid on your head already. You can see, I bought gold. The largest of them all. See my hand. It's an investment. So that I'll go back to my contract deal. If I get into any office, they'll just look at my gadget and know that I can handle any money. So please, do not use your reggae to spoil my blues. How do I make you understand that Max is not going to kill you? I don't want to die. You're not going to die. This is marriage. I am going through a lot in my house. Auntie, please. See, a lot of women go through a lot. Just endure. Besides, I don't have the five million naira to refund. If you come back here, the Ozos will lock both of us and throw the key to the lagoon. Is that what you want for me? No, Auntie, don't worry. I will, I will work. How? So we can raise the money and refund it. From where? What will you do that will fetch you 5 million naira in a short while? Listen, I know you don't think fast. Remember the document you signed a day before your wedding that I brought in your room? It was an agreement between you and the others that you will be in that marriage for two years without going anywhere or you face the consequences so which one do you want we going to jail or you enduring it for the two years how Auntie, you have killed me. How? Tell me. Auntie, you deceived me. I asked you that day. You told me it's for a court wedding. You didn't even allow me to read the contract. I Auntie. have no choice. The money Imelda was offering is not worth him. So what do you have me do? Auntie, you have a choice. No, I don't. You do. How could you be so mean? How it's could, not why do you mean. hate me so much? I don't hate you. You do, Auntie. You <laughs> do. <laughs> How could <laughs> you have... Yellow. This girl wants to put me into trouble, oh. Yeah, baby, baby, I can't believe. Please go back to your husband's house. Please, they will kill me. Go back to your husband's house. I, can't, I don't want to die. Oh, you please. are not going to die. It's just enduring. Eh? Nedia, Nedia, Nedia. Otobu no siri di Nedia. You will overcome. Please, before I go in and come out, you are gone already. And to be good. Go, 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 Tears never dry from my heart They never leave my bed What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another Every day I am so Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery Why me? Why me? Why me? What are you doing here? My aunt asked me to leave. She has left me to my feet. You know, I, I do not expect anything less from a woman who practically sold you. My problem now is I don't want to go back to the house. I don't want to die. Max will kill me. He will just kill me. Have you, have you tried talking to his mom? What difference would that make? His mother was there one day that he was maltreating me, talking to me anyhow. Did she do anything to remedy this situation or stop me? 
This is this is so this is so bad. I mean, this is bad. The problem now is, I don't have the money to give them back, and I had already signed the agreement. What 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 did you sign? My story is very pathetic. A day before my wedding, my aunt brought one um, one paper to my room and asked me to sign. I wanted to read it, so she told me not to read it. That is just paper for our court wedding. I just signed it, only for me to realize that what I signed is an agreement that I will stay with Max for two years, must, for him to get his inheritance from his father. So the marriage is just for his own selfish gain and interest. He even paid my aunt five million naira. She sold me to him. This is, this is bad. I mean, it, it's, it's quite unfortunate that Kambiri, you're surrounded by wicked people. Story of my life. Story of my life. I don't even know what to do. I don't have the money. I even pleaded with my aunt. I said, let's work and save this money and pay back. She said, no, that I must go back to the house. You know what? Um, everything will be fine, all right? Just come. Come, let me take you home. Uh, uh, don't take me home yourself. Please, please, please don't. I'll just go by myself. If you take me there, that means you want him to kill me finally. Come on, Kambili. I, I, Kambili, I could come with you. Okay? I, 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 in fact, I will come with you. Thank you. You've been the light on this my dark path. I appreciate you so much, Bo. Please, don't worry. I, I will go home. Kambili, I would do anything for you. I mean, you don't have to thank me. Okay? Um, you know what? Um, first and first, I know you must be very hungry. So, can I take you somewhere where you can um, eat or you prefer ice cream? Which one? Ice cream. Ice cream. All right, ice cream you get. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for making me smile. Oh, come on. Where are you coming from? I'm sorry. I knew it. I know they failed to tell you that you signed an agreement. You knew it. I do. As a matter of fact, I am the brain behind the signing of the agreement. I ensured they made you sign it. And to think you disrespected me. I have been waiting for you to come back crawling like the dog that you are. I own you. You go nowhere. You have no say over what happens in your life. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. And Jesus, please. Next time, before you ever think of disrespecting me, please. remember that I taught you and that you are nothing, absolutely nothing but a commodity to me. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Do I? Yes, sir. Now you're going down and beg. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, don't forgive me. Please. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Please. Please forgive me. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I will do it again. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, please. Let me stay. I'm begging you. Ah. Uh, this is what I like. 
this drives me crazy. When you, when you beg me like this, it, it turns me on, you know. But you listen to me. You go up there, jump on the bathroom, wash away yourself from your head to your toe. Jump in the bed, spread your legs, and wait as I come to devour you. You are to pleasure me to fight. Go! Fight. Oh! Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another. Every day I am sob. Hello? Is this the way I am gonna be? Hello? Yes. Jesus! Accident? I'll be on my way. You know, it's been a very difficult time. I believe in now. Kambili here. Be taking care of you. Kambili, I beg you. I beg you in God's name. Please take good care of my son. I'll be coming from time to time to check on you people. And you, try and be nice. Right? Can't believe I'll see you, okay? Why are you sitting like a log of wood? Huh? Staring at me? Staring at me as if you have not seen a crippled man before? If you don't have anything to do with it, make yourself useful. Bring me to my room! Nonsense. I said, you can come and have your bath. Take your filthy hands off me! Sir, what have I said wrong? I just said you should come and have your bath. I don't want to take my bath. For two good days, you've not taken your shower. Okay, let me at least get some water with towel and help you clean up your shower. Leave me alone! I will take my bath when I feel like. Now get the hair out of my face. Out!
please come and eat your food. You need to eat so you can take your medications, please. alone what is wrong with you Max, don't you dare raise your voice at me or hurt me again don't try it don't and if i do i'm asking you if i do what can you do you're lucky you are very lucky that i can't walk I would have beaten the hell out of you oh, and sent you back in. Unfortunately, you can't do anything to me. You can't. These are gone when you maltreat me, intimidate me, and treat me like a piece of trash. Now listen, Max. I owe you. Your life is in my hands. I can actually decide to kill you if that's what I want. I can choose to leave you on this wheelchair for a whole one week without food. You will be on your body. Go on your body and choke on sadness. Even in your miserable state, you still want to make my life a living now. What have I done to you? Am I not you, man? Max, you hurt me. You hurt me so deeply. I could, I, I, I could strangle you right now. I could hurt you. I could make you suffer. Destroy everything and make you feel the pain that you made me went through. But no, I am not like you. Thank you, stars. I won't do anything to hurt you, but I won't stand here and watch you intimidate me, hurt me for no reason again. Just look, even in your miserable state, you're trying, you're still trying to lay your filthy fingers on me. Already. Kama is paying you for everything you did to me. Now listen, and listen attentively. Respect yourself, okay? Don't you dare try me again. Respect yourself in this house. Because if you try me, if you try me, if you try me again, Max, I swear, you will not like me. I will borrow some pages from your book of terror and teach you that you're not the only one that has the monopoly of wickedness. I choose to be kind, nice, humble, considerate, caring. Don't take me for a weakling. Don't stand me! I call the shot now. You will use the phone like that. That's your punishment. Don't even try to stress me. Come close. Easy. 
Can't believe it. Yes, sir. Where are you going to? To the guest room, of course. You should be lying here with me. I want you to, to stay with me. I'm sorry, I can't. Can't believe I'm your husband. You can't say no to me. I'm sorry. I can't do everything you want me to do as usual. I can't. Okay. I want you I want you to stay with me now. Please. I'm sorry. I can't lie beside you. I've never laid beside you. You don't let me to. So I don't know what is the difference now. I don't know what changed. What if I want to pee? There's a bowl. You can use it and I'll trash it in the morning. Good night, sir. Kambili, come, Kambili, come. Kambili, Kambili. Did you pee on yourself? You should have called me to help you out. I, I don't know why you would do so. What is it? Relax. Relax. You think I'm going to hurt you? No. It is not in my place to be heartless. I know if I were the one in your shoes, you would have made life more miserable for me. You would have maltreated me, humiliated me as usual, called me on manner of name, and threw me out to the street. I won't treat you like that. I still feel you deserve to be cared for. You deserve to be treated right, regardless. Relax, I won't hurt you. It is not in me, it can never be in me. I will always be here to take care of you. It's okay. So, you need to go soon. Take your shower. Now you've taken your shower, I know you feel a lot better. Hmm? So you have to lie down. Let me see for a while, please. It's okay. Don't forget to call me when you want to lie down. Will you ever forgive me? You need maximum rest. Okay? Let me go and get your breakfast ready. I am sorry if you forgive me. He hurt me so much. Sometimes I just feel like hurting him back, but I can't. It is not in my person to be wicked and mean to people. But the truth is, your friend dealt with me. You're a special person, Kambi. I mean, you have a beautiful heart and a wonderful soul. People like you are rare in this world, you know. You know, some persons will see this as an opportunity to have their pound of flesh, to deal with him decisively. <laughs> Someone who is already crippled? Nah, that would be so heartless of me. I just pray he changes after this. Trust me, he will. You know, life-threatening incidents like this has a way of um, reformatting someone's brain, at least making you think straight about your choices and decisions, you know? He's mm -hmm. lucky to have you. Extremely lucky. God have given him a second chance. I pray he makes things right for himself. I pray that for him too. Okay, enough of him, him, him. So, how are you? I'm here holding on, taking it one after another. I've missed you. I don't think that's appropriate thing to say to a married woman. 
but I can help you. Look, Kimberly, I can't get my head off you. You are you are just everywhere. You've eaten all of me. I miss I'm, you. I'm sorry. But I can help you. Yes, you're a good man. You deserve the best. Alex, my prayer for you is that God will give you a beautiful, understanding, loving, caring, sexy, and God-fearing woman. Any woman that finds you is blessed forever. You are a kind man, Alex. Unfortunately, I'm taken. Married. Um, I have to go, yes, because Max might be awake and once he's awake, he'll start looking for me. So I need to go. Take care of yourself. So soon. Yes. I have to go. Bye. Where are you coming from? I went outside to clean my head. That is unacceptable. You can't just go outside all the name of you want to clear your head. How? I'm here now, sir. What do you want me to do for you? I, 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 I thought you left. Is there any problem with that? Not really. I'm sorry I raised my voice at you. I, 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 I just don't want you to go. I know you want me to be here and be taking care of you. Don't worry, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not that. I mean, uh, uh, you, you, won't, you won't believe even if I say it. It's, um, my lord, permit me to go and have my shower. Thank you, my lord. Oh, you mad at me, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry, forgive me If you let me, I will explain Maybe you will understand Everything is gonna be okay Kambili, how are you holding up? I'm good be sincere with me. You can tell me anything. How are you? He hurts me. He broke me. You know what? Come. I'm not fine. I know. Let's, let's sit and talk about it. When I was leaving my auntie's house, I was happy. I was very excited because I know everything I was going through in that house. I felt heaven has finally smiled on me. I thought I was going to be happy in my husband's house. Little did I know that I'm coming here to face the worst. Since the day I stepped my foot in this house, it's been pain, it's been agony, it's been maltreatment. I have not smiled. Max has been treating me as if I'm not human. He's been treating me as if I don't matter. I'm not happy. That's the truth. I am not happy. I thought I was going to be happy ever after. That was that was my expectations. Can't believe. You you will find your happy ever after. I promise you will. I've always told you this. See, see. Max has a lot of time to think now. 
Trust me, everyone has abandoned him, including his friends. But you are here, taking care of him. The one he maltreated is the one taking care of him. I, 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 just, I just feel like strangling him. I feel like, I feel like treating him the way he has always treated me. I feel like making him to suffer so he would taste his own horror. That's what I feel like doing. But unfortunately, my wellness guide wouldn't let me. I can't find myself being inhumane like him. I can't find myself being heartless like him. I just wish, I wish I could. I've just come to the realization that Max is the most luckiest man on this earth. And I hope he sees that soon. Unfortunately, it's too late. No, it's never too late. You can both fix this. No, I don't love him. I don't feel a thing for him and I would never love him. But you're still here. He's my husband. I'm obligated to take care of him. Happy birthday, Waishi. I'm very thankful and grateful for all you do for me. Happy birthday. And how did you know it's my birthday? Oh, <laughs> Alex told me. Uh. And uh, for your special day, uh, I got you some stuff. Yes, you oh. like them? You did? Yes, yes, yes. did. All for you, for your special day. Because you're a special person. <laughs> Go ahead, open them. I do not want them. Uh, maybe you at least open them hmm? and see what's inside. I don't want to see what is inside. I'm not interested. Okay, uh, maybe you do that later, all right? Uh, <laughs> uh, sweetheart, my beautiful wife, I'm glad to announce to you that I made a dinner reservation for the both of us. It's going to be splendid. You'll like it. I'm not interested. I don't want to have the clothes, and I also do not want to go for the dinner. Thank you, my lord. Please permit me, I have something doing inside. House chores. Thank you, my lord. 